Hello, welcome to my channel. The time now is Thursday, 6.34 p.m., November the 8th, 2024. My topic today is about a lady um, that this is the woman y'all wanted for president, uh, a lady that... um. Said she never would do things like this. She locked up, had a, a lady locked up. I think she targeted um, black single mothers with children. And dad passed some kind of law that she made up. And if the child don't go to school, she would uh, have the mother arrested. And she said around national television that. I never had nobody locked up. This mother said she was locked up. Her name is People. You can find her whole story on on the news or YouTube. And I'm just, you know, doing this. Uh, I felt bad for her. And when she said Kamala said that Black Lives Matter, well, her life didn't matter because her daughter was sickly. The school knew about it. They knew about it and everything. I think they sent her work home. Um, I think they sent her work home from school, and they came to her house and knocked on this lady's door, and her and, and she said she was in court for two years. And I don't think come to ever apologize. She don't even consider herself black. She called. I think they said she called herself a Hindi, cause her mother background. You still a person of color, and stuff like that. And um, and 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 they keep trying to make Trump look bad. They keep calling him a racist and stuff like that. And I told the girl, don't you know? A camera can make you say something. They can edit things out. Like if I said, I don't like this person because of his color. I, it don't mean what you think it can mean. They can say, they can edit out, make it like I said something real bad about the person I didn't. They had Trump one time about three or four years ago, had him stand in the woods with some white supremacists and find out that was a mannequin. They don't like him because they want things to stay uh, the same. Kamala, she's only for immigrants. And letting all these people come in this country and stuff like that. Y'all don't even help the people in this country, especially my people. Indians got it worse than anybody. Everybody else come in this country, they give them money, free housing, put them up in hotels. Why can't you do that for the people that's already homeless and on Skid Road in Calvary? I've seen that street. They had Native American, white people, black people. But y'all bring all these other people in this country. Like, I live next door to some right here in Connecticut, and they're very nasty to me for somebody. Now, I guarantee you, they're not here illegal. How could you be illegal when Europeans came here and stole the country from my ancestors? So, in your, in my case, everybody's illegal, especially the, the person that took the country. How are you going to make somebody a citizen and, and, and you was illegal? That's why they figured they can bring all these people to this country, but it's still not right. And I, uh, before I do anything else, I almost forgot. I must give praise to the Most High, to my Lakota brothers, many Michone, water's life. Without water, you can't survive. And for my brothers and sisters and children and grandmothers in Pueblo Village in New Mexico that need stoves, they need stoves that burn wood. I have a GoFundMe pay, but I guarantee you, nobody won't help us. But when a foreigner come in, it's like that little Cuban boy came here years ago. Oh, I got so sick of hearing about him. Everybody praised him and tried like he didn't have no mother or father and stuff like that, which he did. I'm not hating nobody, but it's not right how they uh, people always come free for somebody in this country. And my mother uh, went to her grave without getting anything, and she was an indigenous person. My mother spoke all her four different languages. She spoke Korean. She spoke Japanese. She spoke two native languages, and she helped my son. Get an A when he went to school in Bayside, Queens, in New York. Uh, it was a lot of Asian children went to that school, so he he had a test on Korea, and they said, "Where did you learn to study?" He said, "My grandmother told me my mother was Native American and Asian." I'm not proud. I'm not ashamed to say it. That still make me an indigenous person of this land. Other people come in, they don't have no paperwork or nothing. Uh, paperwork is illegal anyway. So that uh, to me, it is, the, the, you know. It's like people don't like a Trump one. I like a Trump one. If I worked in the White House, I'd be the first one in this community to get rid of some of these immigrants. But there's too many goddamn them up here now, and they get all the help. Nobody don't even get no help. They don't, it's like Muhammad Ali when he was a boxer. He said, y'all want me to go 
into a country and kill a yellow man. A yellow man ain't getting under me. I want you to help me in my own country. And look what they did to him. They stripped him of his boxing championship. And, and, and that was blackmail. Like, oh, if you don't go to army or uh, the war, we'll take your champion. He had to win that thing, all of which he already had won. That wasn't right. They do the same thing today. The democracy is terrible. And and and, uh, and, uh, and the way that they do my people is it, not right either. But everybody else can come in. They can get uh, housing. Uh, they can get money. They can get license without even having a driver's license. They won't even do that. Shoot, hell, you're going to do that for people. Let me get a, a driver's license without going to, to take no test. These people are not even documented. Why do y'all care so much about other people? You don't even care about the people in this country. If it wasn't for indigenous people, my people of the, this fake ass United States, what they call the United States, nobody would be in this country. People pick at me so bad. I get it from African American. I get it from people from other countries. Like I did something to y'all. Y'all should be mad at the government. Well, y'all can't get mad at the government because y'all get help from them. We don't get no help. And so a lot of Indians, everybody think the Indians all get money. Not all Indians get money. You got some indigenous people homeless right now. If I was a rich person, I would take them in and help everybody. So I'm just real mad. And y'all want this lady for president. She don't care nothing about y'all. She don't even uh, 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 lay to him before. She don't even like black people. She called herself a Hindi. So what that tell you? She married a Jew. I mean, I can't tell people to marry, but and, and, and other things they said about her, but what I'm not going to say. And everybody hating on Trump, right? Well, that's why I already knew Trump was going to win, even though. Uh, uh, I was sick and I wanted to vote. I said, I said, my man already gonna win, and he's uh, he won. That's one of the people I mad with. She couldn't ask a tough question. I saw what she did to that reporter when he was trying to ask her something. She pretended she was on her phone and walking to the plane. A person put but uh, a person put to answer things, especially you in that type of lime life, you know, and stuff like that, trying to become a president, and 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 I, I wouldn't have voted for her anyway. That's how I feel and stuff like that. And I want to talk to Trump first. I, I want to be invited in the White House so I can lay out my grievance, you know, what what I would like for him to help me with. Uh, they doing that to me, too. Uh, like my son, the lawyer, my I have special needs adult son in Massachusetts, and, he, and I never gave up my rights. I just had so many things wrong. I've been in the hospital. I had COVID for eight days. I thought I wasn't going to make it. I was real sick. And, uh, uh, and and they try and take away my rights, and and I'm, I'm uh, uh, that's why I want Trump to help me with everybody else get help, but the person that come from this land. I I don't like certain things, but I don't hate nobody. But y'all shouldn't do that to people that been here a long time. My mother's people been here for thousands and thousands way before Jesus or Moses was born, and and, and I don't want to get into that though, but. Going back to being a Disney president is very deep. Everybody's fake ass people trying to claim to be Indian because they think they're going to get some money out of it if, if you, you know, pretend to be an Indian. Um, I am who I am, and I go, so look, look how you look. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm learning more stuff. I wish my mother was still here because my mother taught me a lot of stuff. Be what you are and, and don't be nothing else but all I can be an indigenous person. Everybody, even an African American lady, greet me. The most black people saying that they was here first. They saying that stuff now, but they think they gonna get some money or reparation, which they supposed to get. Like I said before, I'm not knocking nobody, but they've been to a lot of stuff. But Indians got wiped out in certain person in in all the boroughs of New York, all them Indian tribes. There ain't no more of them Indians there. They they don't wipe them out. Even Canarsie was a tribe of Indians in Brooklyn. You see the movie Gangs in New York, it tells you some things. The Bronx was a, uh, well, I know it was a Dutch soldier named Bronx. That's where they get the name Bronx from. And uh, Wall Street is called Wall Street, but they build a wall to keep the Dutch and, 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 and French out. That's why it's called Wall Street. And I think part of that wall is still in New York. They take you on a tour, you will see it. Coney Island in Brooklyn, and Dutch is Conan. Statue of Liberty is also part of it. Part of some that's Evie Statue of Liberty rep represent Satan. I don't care what nobody. You can look all the stuff up and see. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not saying I'm an expert and everything, but the Statue of Liberty that torch she carried, 
that represents Satan because Satan used to be a light. And um, the point on our crown represents Satan's seven sins. He's been all over the world. The Statue of Liberty is also part of Illuminati. You can look this stuff up and you can find out. But that's all I got to say. I'm just saying I don't hate her either, Kamala. But uh, I think when she tried to go up against Trump, she was going to lose anyway because her questions wasn't uh, forthright and they wasn't truthful. Everybody got sent on them. Even these people try to pretend they, they don't. Some people have um, macho worries or collars uh, in their in their closets, cemeteries. So I don't pretend I'm better than about like I'm perfect. They're like when they do Christian rock, everybody hate this girl so much, like they don't give her a chance. But all them motherfuckers probably got has got no. Don't say probably. Everybody on this goddamn planet got sent on them. I don't care how much you try to sugarcoat or crack like you all this, and and, and they're like, oh. Uh, 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 Chris Sean did this and that, even though she did them things. Who the hell are y'all to judge? You ain't no God. Y'all, who pointed y'all judges? It's like they try to diagnose the baby. Ain't none of y'all got no doctor degree, so shut the fuck up. I hate when people do that to an innocent baby from time. Y'all want something to be wrong with the baby. That's how much y'all hate it. Y'all ain't got a goddamn life. Y'all always in her life, even though her life is in a lime life. I would like positive things said about me. But when you put your stuff on tell them people are gonna run with it because they making money. If you hate this girl, but I guarantee you all of y'all YouTubers are making goddamn money. Otherwise, y'all wouldn't be talking about her like that. Go get your own life and stuff. But y'all will worry about somebody else. When everybody out here got cemeteries, some people got about 23 coliseums in their backyard of people. Skeletons. So shut up. Nobody's perfect. And that's all I got to say right now. But what I was saying about Cumbler, look up what she done. And it's a, a judge, Joe Brown. I know y'all heard of Joe Brown. He got a YouTube channel. He talked about her and he know her and stuff like that. He would tell you about her. And that's all I got to say right now. So, don't die. Why well, do it? Everybody have a blessed night. I wish. I mean, thank you. And I'll talk to y'all later. This topic going to be the fall um, Cumberland.